Hello, my name is Beth Dixon and this is a video series on simple random samples. I want to give a special thank you to Vicki Borlaug for the use of her PowerPoints for this video. I will cover the following three topics in this video series. Finding a random number, take a random sample of one member from a finite population using the TI-84, take a simple random sample of size n from a finite population using the TI-84. And I will break down this series of videos into multiple videos if I run over time. Topic 1, find a random number. There are many ways we can pick random numbers. Think about playing a board game or picking a door prize winner at an event. How do you decide what number to pick? You could use a fair spinner. Spin the number and the arrow points to the number. Why, does it, why do we have to use the word fair? Otherwise, it would not be a random number. You can roll a fair die. Again, we use the word fair. It would not be a random number if it landed, say, on the number 3 more often than any other number. Or we can pick a numbered ball from a container, like in the lottery. Here at Walter State, we use the TI-84 calculator and the random number generator command. The command will look like this. Random integer, R-A-N-D-I-N-T, is the command, and 1 to 6 tells the calculator to pick a number between 1 and 6, including 1 and 6, or inclusive. I have to consider that some of the people watching this video may have a brand new calculator or one that has never used this command. So before we use the random number generator on the calculator, we will need to seed it. We will only need to seed the random number generator once. It will not need to be done again unless we reset the whole calculator. If you did this in class, you will not need to do this again. Here are the steps to seed the random number generator. Put in any number. Make up your own number. Don't use the one on the screen. We should all seed our calculators differently. Then you'll press the store key to get the arrow. Press the math key, go over to PRB, which stands for probability, and select RAND, which stands for random. Press enter and your number will reappear and that's all there is to it. We have seated the calculator. We only need to do that this, this one time. Unless we hit the reset button on the calculator, you will not need to do this again. Now let's look at how it looks on an actual calculator. So, using the actual calculator to do this, let's quickly go through this. Put in any number, and again, you want to type in just any number, and the length doesn't even matter, but you don't want a very short number. Then press the store key, which is right down here next to the 4, gives you the arrow. Then press the math key here, over to the probability, using the over arrow and once you get to probability the random is number one so you can either press one or enter and that'll give you to rand press enter gives you the same number back and we're done now we'll cover the steps on the calculator to get a random number between one and six on the calculator Press the math key, go to probability, 
and select random integer. Type in 1, comma, 6, and the end parentheses or close parentheses. Your screen will look like the one on the right. Press Enter and a random number between 1 and 6 will appear. You will not necessarily get the 3. It's a random number, so you will get something different or 3. Continuing to press Enter will give you more random numbers between 1 and 6. Try it and see what you get. Let's look at how it looks on the real calculator. Okay, let's begin and press the math key, then over to the probability key, then down to random integer. We could have also just pressed the 5 key, either one. Then we get random integer. Then we type in a 1, comma, 6, close the parentheses, then press enter, and we get a random number. Notice I did not get the same random integer that Miss Borlaug did in her PowerPoint. That's okay. It's choosing a random number between 1 and 6. Actually, the first time I taped this, I did get the same number she did. It just is a random pick. Then if I hit enter again, I will get another number. It's like rolling a die again and again and again. And I can continue to do this. Notice I get two fours. If I didn't, and I roll again, and I roll again, and I can just continue to do that. So, what we've just completed, if we do it one time, it's like rolling the dice once. If we do it repeated times, it's like rolling a die over and over and over again repeatedly. Now, let's look a little bit more at the command. The calculator command to get a random number between 1 and 6 is random integer 1 to 6. 1 comma 6. The calculator command to get a random number between 1 and 20 is random integer 1 comma 20. What would the calculator command to get a random number between 1 and 75 be? It would be random integer 1 comma 75. What would the calculator command to get a random number between 1 and 14 be? Random integer 1 comma 14. The calculator command to get a random number between 1 and 22? Random integer 1 comma 22. The calculator command to get a random number between 1 and 63? Random, well, I'm going to leave that for you. Nah, I'll just tell you, it'll be the random integer 1, 63. And I'm pretty sure that this is going to hit the 10 minute mark. So, I'm going to end the video, first video here, and we'll start the second video here as well. Thank you for listening and watching, and I hope this was helpful on learning to use the calculator to generate random numbers. Please watch the second video where we'll conclude and do some actual sampling from a finite population.